Twitter is removing view count metrics from videos. How many views did that video get? Twitter's keeping it a secret. Why? You frickin' tell me, Kurt. Multiple Twitter users, including the author of this piece, have noticed that videos on Twitter are no longer displaying how many times they've been viewed. This metric was previously publicly available to all users. We gotta pay for it? It is unclear if this move is intentional, as Twitter has recently updated its video player to include playback speed and a picture-in-picture style mini player. However... Some users have reported noticing the missing view counts more than a week ago. If the video view count metrics removal is indeed on purpose, this would make Twitter the least transparent social media platform when it comes to video. Every other major video platform from YouTube to Facebook to TikTok shows its users how many views a video has received. It's also an extremely important metric for advertisers, so I think it's got something to do with that. They're going to try and fluff up the numbers of their video views somehow. Yeah, because it's not like you can't thumbs, not thumbs down, but so YouTube took off thumbs downs, right? Yeah. But you can see the number of yeah, views. Yeah, but you, but you can still, if you get a you certain get extension, in, yeah. you get. Um, so the removal of this metric forces users to depend on a different one that often paints videos uploaded to Twitter as more successful than the clips actually are. So there's two. So if you tweet out a video... There's a there's a view you get of the tweet, but then there's also separate from that. Did you watch the video? There's there's a video view or the tweet view. So you could look at a vi- a tweet, scroll past it, and not watch the video. Mm. So those are two different numbers, and it seems like Twitter wants to get rid of the video count so they can have the higher number, which is this the tweet view, and use that for their advertising. That's my guess, but. The DeSantis campaign is boasting about 15 million views on their announcement video, but that's the tweet view count metric. So that's how many people saw the tweet, not how many people actually watched the video inside the tweet. Android users who are still able to view the more accurate video view (coughs) count can see that the actual video had only received just over 4 million views, not the 15 DeSantis. It's still beating CNN. Still beating CNN. (laughs) It's also important to note that Twitter counts a video view as just two seconds of playtime. And guess what I saw today? So this guy tweeted out my uh, a tweet uh, a a bit from my special COVID lies are funny available at JimmyDore.com for only ten dollars. Why I respect Jimmy Dore so much? Good for you, good for you, TJ. I appreciate that. But then look here, he says, anyone else notice this view count dropping daily now? It went from 157,000 views to 70,000 views, now to just over 28. There it is, 28. Why does it say, three, wait, I thought it says 298K views. Oh, wait. Why does it say 298K views? Yeah, see, we're there? seeing that right I don't there. know. Yeah, you, uh, you tell me. You tell me. I'm going to go right now. So what, why does it have two views? So is that the tweet view? Are they How can me, it have? They give me more or less information. Oh, so, here, so here's the deal. I don't know. Well, so anyway, this is all. Some we're gonna we're gonna keep nonsense. you posted on the Twitter view thing, and I'm sure Elon Musk will be asked about it on a Twitter Spaces, and we're gonna get we'll get. I to shall the, bring it up with Joe Rogan next time I'm there. Oh, please do. Hey, everybody, check out my new stand-up special. COVID lies are funny. Only ten dollars, and come see us live in Syracuse, Coho's, New York, Hartford, Los Angeles, Bakersfield, Baltimore, San Francisco, Huntington Beach, and more. Pottstown, even. Go to jimmydoor.com for a list of all of our things and things and see you there.